Welcome back guys in the previous video we learned how to go ahead and create a products page <clears throat> now in this video we're going to learn how to create a single product page okay so I'll tell you what I mean so if you go back to product page which which was our custom product page uh, which is displaying all the products if you click on one of them let's say this one it's taking you to a page which is giving you information about that this particular page uh, giving you an option to add reviews showing your related products and giving an option to add to cart showing categories and things like that now obviously this is uh, not a custom page this is coming by from WooCommerce if you want to create a custom page like this uh, then you need to override the WooCommerce uh, template which is responsible for displaying this page now which template is responsible so let's go back to um, plugins and we'll go to WooCommerce and then templates and there is a page called single products uh, sorry not this one single product.php if you see this one this is the one responsible okay um, if you notice it will say over here the template for displaying all the single products this template can be re uh, rewritten or overwritten by copying it to your own theme so let's do that uh, what I'm going to do is basically come over here into my theme and into the root directory create a page called single dash product dot php if I do this and now if I try to reload this page page you'll see nothing right because there's nothing there on this page if I just do echo test come back refresh the page sure enough I have a test over here so how do we actually uh, you know display the page and uh, get everything going over here the first thing I'm going to do is basically get my header and footer of course if you want to customize it and not include these headers you can always write your own code over here but for now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do that zoom in get footer so now on this page I should have my header and footer sure enough we've got that so all we have to do now is basically uh, display the content of a single page okay guys so we've got the header and footer what we need now is basically uh, the content so let's see how we can get that so since we have overridden the single product.php we're going to go back and check what's going on inside of a single dot uh, single product dot uh, PHP inside of WooCommerce. We'll go to WooCommerce and then uh, plugin directory and then go to templates and go to single product. Not this one, sorry. This one. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. So we have a header which are in there including then footer. So we'll leave that. And then um, here is do action. Basically, this is the main content hook and then. Uh, this is after main content and inside of these two hooks uh, do action uh, what they're doing is running a loop and inside of the loop they're including uh, their custom template to display all the contents okay so where is this uh, basically this is content dash single dash product so let's say this one right here okay so this is the page responsible for displaying the content basically uh, you're getting the password form product class summary single product summary and all that information going on over there okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this particular bit of code excluding the get header and get footer and I'm going to include that into my file and if I save it if I go back You can check that now I have got this page uh, exactly the way it was obviously you have options to go ahead and um, run your own custom loop like I've shown you in the previous video okay and uh, go ahead and uh, display this image separately and this title and this price and add to card and then category all of that information you can display separately uh, but we'll leave that because uh, you know uh, this video will be too long then but you've got the idea how you can do it then WordPress provides you with the comments functions which you can use to display the comments and all of that 
so basically you can get that going but if you just wanted to change the header and the footer and the sliding of the page this would do the job for you okay and I just want to show it to you that it's actually including the content single product if you go to this particular page if you just echo out test over here refresh the page and sure enough over here you have test so that's the page it's all coming from okay great so I'm gonna close this and I'll leave this this is my uh, custom page um, over it in the existing one cool so in the next video then guys uh, we will discuss the um, I think we can discuss the category page okay uh, and I think we can also create some menus for this rather than you know going like this separately so we'll go to dashboard and we'll go to menus set the menu name to my menu let's say create a menu and at least I'm going to add the product shop page into the menu because I don't want to keep going on to the link to be able to go that I should should have an option on the front end to go to that page Okay, so we'll come over here and make sure this top menu is selected and just save it. Obviously, you can customize things, but that's fine. So now you have a product shop page. If I just click on it, it will take me to all the products. This is our custom page for products. And when we click on it, this is our custom page for displaying the uh, single product. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video and we'll discuss how to display all the categories. And, and when those categories are clicked, it will display all the products related to that those categories, specific categories. See you then. Bye.